Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to uh, give Caitlin a little bit of rehabilitation. She currently is sitting in an American Girl doll uh, wheelchair that I found on eBay. And I don't know if you remember from my first video where I introduced all of my BFC Inc. dolls. I uh, mentioned that her limbs, she was loose and it was hard to get her to stand now. In that video, I looked up and got her to stand. But um, I'm not sure how successful I will be this time. But as you can see, she is pretty, pretty unstable. Um, you can't hold her. She won't stay up right when you hold her. Uh, let me see if I can get a better angle. Let's see. Just make sure she's facing the right way. Make sure her torso's facing the right way. Okay. So see how she's standing? And right now, her arms, I think if it wasn't for this dress, they probably would swivel all the way around the sleeve of the dress. But um, she's not very, very stable right now. She also needs a good bath and her hair washed. I think I'm going to take the braids out of, of hers. I have one where I kept the braids in, but I think the braids are going to come out on this one. So I'm going to begin my process and then I will share um, what I did along the way. So I've cleaned her off and I have dried, um, I've wiped off the disinfectant, um, which was a mixture of one part alcohol to one, one part rubbing alcohol to one part water and um, several drops of essential oils. Um, the all purpose cleaner was mostly water, a little bit of dish soap and some essential oils. So anyway, I sprayed her down and dried her off. So now we're going to, I'm going to deal with these, well, actually this isn't too bad. I'm gonna deal with her loose or her spinning limbs. Um, I found this to be the case on all of these dolls, no matter if they came, if I got them new in the box or um, they were um, pre-owned. So I bought a pack of these elastic bands from a local beauty supply store. And what I want to do is to have it so that the arm doesn't spin so freely, um, which makes it hard to hold, hold the pose if you're trying to uh, pose her for a picture. So just take the elastic band and slide it into the joint. And I keep twisting the band around until I can't twist it anymore. Okay, so I don't know if you can see that. It's, it's disappeared down in the joint, so it's still spinning. So I will add uh, a few more. And you basically add these elastic bands. And I use the clear so that if they don't disappear down into the arm joint, they won't stick out. Um, the first time I tried this, I tried it with black rubber bands before I realized that sometimes they do not go all the way down like I want. Okay, so this one now you notice it's not 
it's not spinning as much but it can still be posed I think I'll stick one more on All right, so now let me adjust this. So now you'll notice the arm doesn't spin around. This is what I was talking about. The little uh, you still see a piece of that, but it's not as noticeable. Sometimes I'll keep maneuvering it until it disappears, like that. Okay, so now this arm is pretty stable. Okay, so I'm gonna work on the other arm. And then I'll be back to show you what I do with this loose chest plate. Okay, so I have her. I have her arms. You notice that they're not spinning around as much as they were. So I've done both arms. So now let me show you what I do to tighten up this plate. Um, I have seen other YouTubers who suggested using the um, elastic bands on the torso i have not had much luck because to get it up here you, it has to stretch out a good little ways and then once it's in here it loosens up again so to me i haven't been successful with it so what i've started using is this is known in the knitting world as dishcloth yarn. It's just 100% cotton yarn, or it happens to be what I had on hand. I'm sure that um, any type of yarn or string will work just as well. So what I've done is I've torn off, I've, I've broken off a pretty good length. I probably won't need all this. And I start out this is how I put it on. I just grab the two loose ends. And then here's the looped end. So I slide, I put the yarn around her waist. And then I take the loose ends and pass it through the looped end. And I pull it tight. And I, so I pull it like this and then I pull it so it disappears in her chest cavity or in her I'm sorry under chest plate so I grab one end grab the other crisscross take it around the back of her crisscross bring it around the front crisscross back okay so I do this several times until her chest plate is not as heavy as it was so I'm going to do that and I'm, I will pause the camera and I'll come back once I've gotten a significant amount of wraps in, so you can see the difference okay so I've been wrapping and as I wrap I pull tight and as you notice the chest plate is a little less wobbly and I started with a really long uh, length of yarn so I will continue wrapping and then I'll continue checking the chest plate to see if it's tight where I want it. So I had probably about three or four yards of yarn um, before I, I folded it in half and doubled it. And so I'm using a lot of string, which is why I like to use the yarn. Um, and you know, this is just so that I can get my dolls more stable and then they're more easily posed when I do take pictures of them. Um, so you'll see that she is not as wobbly as she was before. So um, I'm, I think I'm gonna go ahead and wrap the rest of this yarn up. And use go ahead and use up the rest of this and you can you can leave it as loose or as tight as you want it I like mine pretty tight because I figure um, with um, use or with handling the doll 
it's probably going to loosen up some more. And if that's the case, I'll just add more, more yarn. But I have used this um, process successfully with um, a number of, well, actually with all the dolls that have come. And it may not completely get rid of the loose and wobbliness, but it makes it a whole lot better so that the doll can at least um, hold a pose. So um, I've even used it on, I think, Yuko when she came out of the box. Um, she Her chest plate was really loose even though she was brand new in the box. Um, and from what I understand with this particular, sorry, I hit the camera there. Um, what I understand with this particular um, doll brand is that that was a, that was a drawback. Um, the hair being poor quality was one and, and then the loose, loose joints. So you see, she can still move from side to side and she has some movement but she's nowhere near as wobbly as she was. So all I do then is I'll just tie this in a knot. And the knot will disappear under the chest plate. And then I'll then I'll just brace basically break the yarn off and tuck tuck the tail within the chest plate. So now we have now we have she's not she's able to stand up straight um her legs are still a little bit wobbly but she definitely is a little bit easier to pose i think if i play with her i can get her to balance maybe not let me try it off of the towel Okay, the other thing I'm going to need to use, work on is her hip joint. Because her hip joint is keeping her, she's, she's got that forward, <laughs> forward um, pelvic thrust motion going on. Um, so what I do for the hip joint, but notice her chest plate is not wobbly. See, the chest plate's not as wobbly as it was. So she has a little bit more stability. She's not exactly um, uh, to the point where she can stand on her own, but she's a whole lot less loose and her limbs aren't flopping around as much as they were. So I'm going to take some more yarn and I'm going to do the same thing and wrap it within her um, hip joint here just to uh, give it a little less get a little tighter so that the leg um so that her body won't flop back hopefully so let me try that so caitlin is now standing on her own i'm going to tie off that string that's hanging from her crotch and um tuck the ends in and i will uh, go and take her braids out the the factory braids and i will wash her hair here is the new Caitlin. She is standing on her own. She is holding a pose. Um, I did her hair, uh, just took the rollers out, um, letting it dry. Uh, what I did was um, rolled the, the, her hair up on the small little rods. And then I poured hot water over her hair while it was still in the rollers. And then I let it dry overnight. It is still partly damp, so I went ahead and pulled the rods out to let it dry the rest of the way, but you will see that she is standing on her own and she is pretty much holding a pose. So here is the new and improved Caitlin. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please feel free to leave a comment and please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.